Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I know it's been a while, but I've been trying to get my shit together, you know? Um, I started classes and, you know, I really don't have an excuse. I've just been lazy. So for today's video, I thought I would just come back with a pretty basic video. Y'all probably don't even care, but um, I do get this question asked and it's how I um, achieve a flawless makeup base. So the first thing that I do is um, I have to analyze my face because I, I, I have a lot of peach fuzz, a lot. I have a lot of hair on my face. I'm just hairy. I wax my own mustache with those Sally Hansen waxing strips and I pluck my own eyebrows. But whenever it comes to the hair that's like on this area, um, in between my eyebrows above and a little bit on my chin, that's where I get the most buds. I do the face shaving stuff. This one in particular, like this little razor in particular is from Sally's. The ones that they sell at Walmart and Dollar General and Family Dollar, they're the ones that are like half circles. They're like round on the end, but I feel like those really don't work. They're super dull. I've already done my skincare, washed my face, all that stuff. I like to just try to see where I have the most hair and lightly just get rid of it. We're using the single blade razors. Um, always do short, quick strokes. Or, well, I don't know, that's just what I think is best. Because I've been doing this for a really long time, literally since I was in like junior high. And that's because my mom's always done it, because my mom's face is super hairy. Sorry, mom. This is going to be an all drugstore look, and the reason for me doing that is just so you can see that you don't have to buy $40, $50 foundations, $40 powder, $20 concealers, and so forth in order to get a nice, flawless base. It doesn't matter the brand because the drugstore has good stuff, they're stepping their game up, that's the truth. Okay, so to prime my skin, I don't, I'm not heavy on primers. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's just because I haven't found a primer that does like this amazing magical job. I'm gonna take the Milani Make It Dewy Spray and spray that. All. You always have to shake it up though and spray that all over my face. Oh, if you have oily skin, you should not be doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you might want to disregard this whole video. And okay, you probably can't tell from my face. But just off my shoulders and my chest, I do have a more like warm undertone in my skin. My face just looks pink because it's hella sensitive. And it's my face is always red. And then the second step to prime is I'll take my Milani Mattifying Face Primer. I just like to add it right here because I do have some pores that are a little visible right here. And I'll put some on my nose um, just to, I guess I do, like to mattify my nose but it, this area is where I have the biggest pores all right so for foundation I swear to you my favorite favorite my absolutely most favorite foundation from the drugstore is Milani's conceal and perfect foundation for my foundation mixture I'll take like one pump of the sand beige and half a pump of the uh, creamy vanilla Mix those on the back of my hand, and as you can see, it matches my neck pretty good. I'll just dot that onto my face. Um, oh, by the way, this foundation is really full coverage, so. And I like to put the least amount of foundation around my mouth and my smile lines because I get I have really bad smile. Well, not really bad, but sometimes my smile lines will, um, crease and I like to build up the foundation on my cheeks where I get the most um, red and you can see how well the foundation covers it up first I'm not big on color correcting but again if I want like a super flawless base then I will color correct my under eyes because I have really dark under eye circles and um, I tried using the LA Girl Orange Concealer. That one's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. I feel like that's really more suited for medium to deep to dark skin tones. So I got this uh, Maybelline Master Camo Concealer 
and it's in the shade 50 apricot something like that All right, so now for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade 30 Light Medium. And if I ever want to want my under eye to be brighter, which I don't know why I would want them brighter than this, but if that's the case, if you like a really bright under eye, then you can just add a lighter concealer. But this is, for me, one shade lighter is good enough. I'm gonna let my under eyes sit a little bit. Just blend out the wrist. And this this concealer and this foundation work really well together. Sometimes I forget to do this part, but if I get a lot of makeup over my beauty mark. I like to wipe it off as I go. You have to be careful if you do this because you don't want to wipe, wipe off all the makeup around it. Just the makeup on top of it. Okay, so it's looking good so far. If I want like a really smooth finish, I like to go in with a deep or a deeper foundation. That would be a good bronzing color. That way I don't have to add too much bronzer and contour and just pile up the powders on my face because powder, a lot of powder on dry skin isn't so flattering. Um, so I guess it's kind of like, I guess I'm cream contouring I guess you could say. Now I'm going to take this Morphe brush, don't know the name, and I'm taking the shade 13 in the Milani foundation and I'm just going to lightly and don't add a lot of this stuff because it's really full coverage. Thank you, thank you. So after I blend it in with the brush, go back in with your beauty blender because since you since you already blended out your foundation and concealer, there's still some left over on the sponge. And I don't contour my nose because I don't know how. <laughs> okay, so for powder, I've really been liking the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I have it in the shade 20. Um, whenever I set my face, I just add a light, light dusting. I do pack it on a little bit heavier under my eyes though because my under eyes crease a lot. Alright, so first I'm just gonna take some of my beauty blender and add it under my eyes. And I will always, always, always bake my smile lines. Whenever you're setting your face though, don't set up on your cheekbones because I like to do a cream highlight as well. For the highlight part, this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I've just recently really been liking it. Um, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Galaxy Infallible, L'Oreal Infallible Galaxy Stick in the shade Cosmic Pink, and this is what it looks like. When you swatch it, um, why does that look blue? It's 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 like a duochrome pink. Anyways, I'm gonna take some on my finger and pat it on the cheekbone. I didn't use to cream highlight before, but I've noticed, especially with these cream highlights, because I have all three colors, they just make your skin look shiny, wet, like not powdery highlight, you know? You know? Always go over with your beauty blender and just pat over that a little bit. This is just going to be a really pretty base for the next highlight that we're going to use. So for powder highlight, to put on top of that, because you always want to set your creams and liquids with powder, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Shimmering Highlighting Powder in the shade Starlight Glow. It's just a light gold highlighter. So I'm going to take my Morphe M438 and just lightly, because this is like super powdery, 
just lightly press on top of that and lightly go over it because sometimes because with this galaxy pink highlighter I feel like it's too pink and I already have redness on my cheeks and cheekbones as we saw earlier so putting this gold highlighter over it just makes it I don't know to I guess set the cream bronzer slash foundation that I used I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match powder in the shade W7 for me personally this is like a really really perfect bronzing shade and then it also it's a powder foundation so you just need to use very little of it and it'll still have a good color payoff So for finishing spray, I'm going to go again with the Make It Dewy. If you don't like this dewiness, because I think it has like some sort of oil in here. I don't know nothing about these ingredients, but I'm pretty sure it has an oil in here. They also have a Make It Last spray, which I also love that one too. But both bottles that I have are empty now. Get your setting spray and set your face. Pat everything in while the setting spray is still on your face. Aside from the makeup and the whole flawless face, full coverage, whatever, taking care of your skin is importante. It's really important to take care of your skin. Am I the best at it? No. Do I drink water? Only when I have to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, which is only my eyes, my eyebrows, and my lashes. And I'll be right back so you can see how it looks full effect. Alright, that was everything for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch my videos and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week.